Atomy Marketing Plan. Let's go! Hello everyone, my name is Ju Young Park and I am here today to talk to you about Atomy's marketing plan and its vision. Are you guys ready? Alright, let's get started. So when I was younger, let's see, my parents moved to the States 35 years ago and as I was younger I had to translate a lot of things for them because they were not able to speak English very well. So what happened was they started their own businesses and I became very involved in it and that started to change the way that I thought. I wanted to become a CEO, I wanted to run my own business and I always was, I was always looking for different opportunities to help my parents whatever it was in that area, right? So I started researching and I started reading books and I started understanding that there are different types of businesses I can be a part of. For example, here it says sales, right? What does that mean? That means that I can get an item from somebody and sell it to someone. And I looked into this kind of business because I didn't have that much money to start, but I always wanted to work for myself. I didn't really feel comfortable working for anybody else. I wanted to try to build my own business, my own dream. Well, as I was doing this and I, as I was starting to look more into uh, direct selling or making commission off of sales that I made, I started running into different problems. For example, I only had maybe 10 hours a day that I can work or 8 hours a day that I can work where I can meet people to sell them an item. But as time went by, I started hitting a ceiling. So even if I could even if I can have 12 hours a day, you can't really make any more, right? Everybody's sleeping or doing their own thing. So if I can only sell 10 items a day, then that was the uh, ceiling cap that I had for my uh, paycheck. So I started looking at other avenues, you know. Where do other people make business? What kinds of businesses do other people make? And what are they? So I looked at other business owners. And if you think about residual income, that's what I, my goal was. I wanted to make residual income. Then you have to look at bigger businesses. So I looked at what my parents were doing and they had a business and what they did was when that one did well, they opened up another store and then another store. So it turned into a chain of businesses, maybe a chain of restaurants or a chain of shoe stores or whatever it may be. And that's what I wanted to be a part of. Why? I didn't want to be the only one responsible for making that paycheck. I wanted to be able to help other people and other people's efforts also help me. So for example, if I had a store in a regular mom and pop shop, what happens? You can go to work at maybe 7 o'clock in the morning or 9 o'clock in the morning, but then who has to close a store? It's you. You have to close the store. And I started looking into different businesses and how they were able to create chains to create franchises and it struck me you have to have a product that can change consumer habit and that's just something that I wasn't able to find so even though I was able to find the answer to what I wanted to do I first didn't have the money to do it and I couldn't find the product to do that with so I put all that aside and I just started helping my parents and living my normal life went to university and then when I graduated I moved to Korea I went to Korea, but always in the back of my mind, I wanted to start my own business. So I was always looking for different opportunities. I always wanted to try to start whatever I could from the very bottom. So as I started looking, um, I really wasn't able to find anything. But when I was in Korea, I met my wife and we got married and she told me that she needed something called a deep cleanser. Now I wasn't very familiar with what that was so I asked her what is a deep cleanser and she told me well it's used to remove makeup her especially her eyeliner and mascara and things like that so I said okay do the research that you need to do and tell me what kind of product that you want to buy. So she did her research, asked her friends, and then we went to the department store. And we went to the department store. She picked out whatever product that she wanted, and she told me that it was $100. Well, at first I said, wow, $100, that's pretty expensive. But when we looked around, it wasn't, um, there were other products that were cheaper, but she was saying that this was of high quality and it worked better than other products. So we purchased the product went home and she started using it and a few weeks later we had to stay the night at my in-laws but when we went over there my wife forgot to bring what she forgot to bring her hundred dollar deep cleanser so she had to use whatever was available at the house so we looked she came out of the bathroom and I looked at her face and I said wow Nadi, your eyes aren't red 
And that was a funny comment, right? Because she was using a $100 product, but every time she came out of the bathroom, after removing her eyeliner and her mascara, her eyes turned red because she had to rub really hard to get everything out, she said. So I asked her, is this better than what you're using at home? And she said, yeah, it's, it works even better than what I have at home. And that started, light bulbs started going off in my head. And I said, wow, really? Okay, well, how much is it? Do you know how much it is? And she said she didn't know how much it was. So I asked my mother-in-law, how much is this? And she told me it was $9. Now, at the time, I didn't have, I didn't know what this was. So I asked her and she said, this is Atomy Deep Cleanser and you can buy it online and if you buy in bulk every if you buy four at a time it's nine dollars per item so I said wow that's awesome that's great and I asked my wife next time would you be willing to buy this or would you want to buy what you bought previously and she told me no no I don't want to buy what I bought but I'd rather use this because it works even better so I thought to myself wow okay What's Atomy? And my mother-in-law started telling me Atomy was a network marketing company and that anybody can register and so on and so forth. And I started thinking in my head, network marketing company, business, item, everything started coming together. Like I stated before, I didn't start a business or I couldn't start a business because I couldn't find the product that I wanted to do the business or it costs too much to invest to start a business. Well, what did she say? She told me that it was free to register. So here's Atomy, right? And what's the difference between Atomy and all these different business models that I saw? Well, in regular business, you have to first, for, for example, if you're going to do direct sales, what do you have to do? You have to buy products and then with the products, you have to sell it to somebody. And when you sell it to somebody, you then make a profit, right? So you have to hold on to products. Or if you're doing a regular business, you have to invest in storefront. You have to invest in property. You have to invest in interior design and then put products out for somebody to buy. Well, in this business, it's the same model, right? When you start a business, you get an item from the manufacturer and then you get it and you make lots of consumers. That's the goal. So when people do business, they try to buy at the cheapest price possible and then what do you do? You try to sell it at the highest price possible and make that difference. But when I saw Atomy, that's not what Atomy was about. A lot of network marketing companies, whenever you want to register, there's a registration fee or there is a monthly fee to maintain your business whether it's a website maintenance fee or whatever it may be but in Atomy they didn't have any of that they didn't have they didn't have any requirements of a starter kit they didn't require you to buy monthly PV they didn't do anything but at the same time they provided us with an item that we would continue to buy. So I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do and I started looking more and more into it. And the more I started looking into it, the more I started getting stuck in, sucked into the company because I started looking at who was producing the products, right? So it's very important where you're getting the products from. But Atomy was getting products from Komar Korea and Carrie. They came together and they created a new company called Komar BNH. And Komar BNH, what were they doing? They were manufacturing very high quality products, but for a very low price. And Atomy was responsible for distributing these products, but not only those. Atomy had the right to distribute whatever products that they wanted to do that was already in the market. So I thought to myself, wow, this is great. If you start a business, let's say that you want to do a restaurant. Well, that's all you have. You have a restaurant, right? Or if you want to sell shoes, all you're doing is selling shoes. But in this case, I was able to become what? A supermarket. I was able to sell goods that everybody could buy, but it was at what? Absolute price and absolute quality. And that's exactly what I wanted. Because I knew if you wanted to create residual income, you weren't able to do that by trying to persuade individual A, persuade individual B, but rather if we could present them with information saying, hey, listen, what are you using? What kind of products do you currently use? What you're using is not as cheap as what I have to offer. Do you want to try it? This is how conversation starts and this is how people start changing the way that they consume things. So for example, when I started looking into Atomy, I started looking at a few products that I knew that everybody around me used. So the first one I saw was the sun cream. 
everybody around me in Korea uses sun cream, right? And I asked them, hey, friend, how much is the sun cream that you purchased? And they told me, oh, $15. And some would tell me $30. So it was within that ballpark, $15 to $30 for sun cream. So let's just say $30. Your friend is using $30 sun cream. And here you are. You tell them, hey, listen, I got a product for you. I want you to try would you be willing to try it? What's the first thing that comes into your head? How much is this guy trying to sell this product to me for, right? So what happens in regular business is you come to them with a product that's usually more expensive than what they were currently using and persuading them with the quality that it's higher, so therefore they should use it. But this is absolutely the other way. So if your friend is using something that's $30, you come to them and say, hey, listen, Atomy, offer sun cream as well. It's very high in quality. It's made by Komar Korea. But here's the thing. It only costs $9 per sunscreen if you buy in bulk, right? So when you're buying in bulk, that's all that it costs. So I asked my friends, try it for me, you know? Tell me what you think. And this was their response. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't, wow, this is amazing. But they said, it's okay. But I asked them this, would you be willing to buy it again next time. And they told me, what? Yes. Why did they say yes to me? They said yes to me because it was a $21 difference. When they were using Atomy, they were now saving $21 from their previous product. So I knew for a fact that, okay, sunscreen works because everybody around me would be willing to use this. So let's look at different items then. So let's think about toothbrushes, right? Everybody has to use a toothbrush. But if I wanted to start a business with just toothbrushes, I don't know if that would work. But I asked my friends around me, I said, listen, friend, do you know how much your toothbrush costs? And they told me, no, they had no clue. But they told me maybe $2? I don't know, $2.20? But I told them, okay, that's about the right price, and maybe it's a dollar fifty or two dollars somewhere around there. But I asked him, "Do you know what? How's the quality? What quality toothbrush do you use?" And they had no clue. But I offered them this. I said, "Listen, what if I was able to provide you with the highest quality possible that a toothbrush can offer, which means that it has gold, ionic, slim bristles, and things of that nature?" And they said, "Well, I don't even know what that is, but I'll try it if the price is." right, right? So I wasn't trying to persuade them to use this super expensive, nice toothbrush, but rather, what are you using right now? I don't know what I'm using. I'm just using a regular toothbrush, and it's costing me maybe $2. And I told them, well, here's a high-quality toothbrush for cheaper than what you're currently using. And they say, well, if it's cheaper than what I'm using, then why not? Of course I'll use it. So they purchased it. And I thought to myself, will products like this change consumer habit? And when I mean by change consumer habit, that means that if you see other products, let's say you go to the store, you ran out of your toothbrush. Well, you go to the store and now it's conveniently in front of you. The toothbrush costs $2. It's 90 cents more expensive than Atomy's toothbrush. But is that going to deter you from buying it? Uh, honestly, I don't, think, I don't think so. I think they'll just purchase it because it's not that big of a difference. So I looked at different products. What else does Atomy have to offer? And I saw that Atomy also had very high quality skincare products. So I looked at Atomy's uh, skincare six system. And when I saw this, I asked people, if you were to buy these six items from different companies, how much would it cost you? And I got anywhere from $150 to $300. And I said, wow, okay, but how much is Atomy's? And if you buy four at a time, it breaks down to about $88 a set. So if that person was using products that cost $300, now this is a $212 difference. Now people can start changing their consuming habit because that's a big difference. That's no longer a 90 cent difference. That's a above $200 difference. So I said to myself, if I can persuade somebody to at least try this product once, would they be repeat customers? And I answered that question and I said, I think so. I really do think so. And then I looked at Atomy's business objectives, right? A lot of people um, within network marketing companies or doing this kind of system, they don't understand what it is that's driving price, what it is that's driving that residual income. But I started to figure out from my business's 
from my parents' business experience that you make money off of not new customers, but repeat customers. And repeat customers come because of many different reasons, but part of that is price. So I started thinking to myself, I said, all right, Atomy is about customer success. What does customer success mean? Right? You hear a lot of people saying customer satisfaction, but you don't hear many people saying customer success. Well, when that person purchases that product for $88, they have just now saved $212. That is customer success. That customer is saving money by simply changing the product that they were using to Atomy's products. But is that the only thing? No. If you want to succeed in business, you have to have more variables that are working with you, right? So let's talk about a few things here. In Atomy, there are no personal enrollments, right? What does that mean? A lot of people don't understand. Well, we have the first thing figured out, right? That means that if the product is good, it'll make customers. But in a network marketing company, you get paid on how the system pays you back. So let's say that this is me. I add somebody on my left leg, right? I add person A. Well, in a lot of network marketing companies, they pay you on personal enrollment and how much you can do personally, right? So it's all about how much you can do, your own efforts. But in Atomy, this is how it works. You register A, and A registers B, and B registers C. So the only person in this system that you currently registered was A. That's it. But Atomy will give you unlimited downline leverage. What does that mean? That means that you registered a, but A registered B and C, and now this person registers, let's say, 100 people in the USA. What does that mean for you? That means that 100% of all of the accumulated PV becomes yours. And that's the same thing for this line as well. But in a lot of network marketing companies, that is not the case. They cut it off, right? They'd say, well, since you registered this person but did not register this person, I'm only going to pay you maybe 50% of how much they sell. Or they'll limit it to multi-level marketing, right? Multi-levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. So they'll pay you up to the fifth level. But no network marketing company that I know that is binary, that has no registration fees, that has no monthly requirements, continues to pay unlimited globally. And this is something very significant. Why is this significant? This is very significant because not a lot of people have that many individuals that they can personally register. Let's think about it. If we say, hey, how many people do you know? How many people do you think you can currently register? And if they say, I think I can register 100 different people. Well, if you can register 100 different people, then wow, you're great. You can not just do this business, but you can do so many more businesses. But that's not the case for many people around you, right? Maybe an average of 10 people or 30 people is all that they can register. Well, if that's it, then you're only going to be making money off of 30 people. So that won't make sense, right? But in Atomy, that's not the case. Like I stated, it continues to grow. So even if you only know one person, that person is using the product. Why? Are they, are they registering to use the product to make money? No, they're registering to use the product because it is cheaper and better in quality than what they were previously using. So that's where the difference comes. So in this system, everybody is a consumer. Atomy is not about who is doing the business and who is consuming, but rather everybody is consuming a product that they feel is of high quality and low price. So that's why this works. Everybody can become successful because there are these things in place. And then the last one that I want to cover in this slide is this. When you register, a lot of people will say, this guy who registered you is always going to make more money than you, right? Because they're on top. That would be the case if there was no ceiling. But in Atomy, what happens is there is a ceiling. And the ceiling, I'm going to cover it later, but it's 50 million PV 
on each side. So once you accumulate 50 million PV on your left and on your right, this guy has 50-50, but how much does this guy have? Since it all accumulates, he has 100 million PV, but Atomy only pays you up to 50 million PV. So what does that mean? Even if this guy is making 100 million, 300 million PV, that doesn't matter. You guys are going to be making the same amount of money. So Atomy has been able to cover all these different parts. And where is this going? Atomy is going global. That means that they have one server. Okay, one server. What does that mean for the average Joe? That means that if they went to university and they befriended an exchange student and this exchange student decided that he wanted to look into Atomy and become a member. Well, I'm from Korea, right? But this friend is from the US and he also registers a friend who's from, let's say, Japan. But in Atomy, you don't have to register within different countries to start the business. Everything is in this one line. So even though this person's in Japan, whenever they buy a product from Japan, it still goes up all the way to you. So this is what I mean. You don't have to, you only know 10 people, you only know 30 people. It doesn't matter because it'll continue to grow and grow. So let's look at where Atomy is right now. Atomy right now is in Korea, it's in Japan, it's in Canada, it's in the US, it's in Taiwan, and it's in Singapore. And they're going to open in these other areas soon. So if you look at the screen, you can see that Malaysia, Cambodia, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Thailand is on there. And many more different uh, countries will be added. So when you get started, somebody else, they're waiting to get started. So you are getting ahead of the game and you're going to be able to continue to accumulate what? Partners all over the world. Now, let's try to review what I just said, okay? So I stated that the lineage goes all the way down and you start getting paid by PV. Well, let's talk about PV and what it is, okay? Point value, that's what it stands for. And this is how you get points to accumulate. So you purchase a product, Okay? And that product has PV that follows with it. Okay, so let's look at the main products. Atomy has the skincare product. So if you buy one, the price is higher and the PV is 100K. If you buy two, the price goes down all the way to the fourth one. So what does that mean? It's just like buying in bulk, right? We go to Sam's or we go to Costco and we save we save money by buying in bulk. That's the same concept here. If you buy four at a time, your price goes down and you still get the PV that Atomy has to offer. And Atomy has a left leg and a right leg, but you get paid on the smallest leg, okay? So we have personal PV and then we have group PV and I'll explain to you what the points are and how much you can get paid. So if you have personally consumed 300k worth of products, that's maybe one hemoim, you bought one hemoim, that's 100k, so you already have 100k, and you bought a six set system for your wife, another 200, and other items here and there, you're already at 300k, so now you have the opportunity to get paid. So you register somebody on your left leg and on your right leg, and when 300k, 300,000 PV accumulates, on your left and right leg, then now you get 15 points. Each point is multiplied by about $5, so you get how much? About $75, give it or take. And that keeps going on all the way until your personal PV builds to 2.4 million PV. Now, since you have consumers consuming on your left and right leg, and let's say that every day now you are making 300k on your left, 300k on your right. Well, if you think about it, it's not going to stay at 300k, right? Other, people's, other people in the system are going to continue to buy whatever they were using and they're going to be telling other people about it. So what happens? Your 300k turns into 
700K. 700K turns into 1.5 million and so on. And it'll continue to grow. And when it reaches, what did I say? 50 million, it stops. What I mean by that, your points will continue to accumulate, but your payout will stop at about $1,500 every day. Okay? But let's look at the personal PV. The personal PV stops at 2.4 million. But your group PV continues to go until 50 million. Now, let's think about this. I'm at 2.4 million PV. Okay? Now, I told you that Atomy does not require you to buy a product every single month. They don't care. But in a lot of different network marketing companies, what happens is, let's say that you bought 300K worth of items in January. Well, in February... What do you have to do? This goes away and you start from zero and you have to buy the 300K again to qualify to get the commission from your group PV. But in Atomy, that is not the case. It accumulates for a lifetime and it continues to accumulate until, well, forever. But when you reach 2.4 million, you don't have to purchase for yourself anymore. So let's think about this. You now have a system where you're making 50 million, 50 million PV every single day. You're personally at 2.4 million, and you're not required to buy anything this month. You're only required to buy one item a year. It doesn't matter the price. So the cheapest thing that you buy, it won't matter, but you'll still get paid how much every day? A thousand. $500 every single day. Now, I've never been able to find a business where you can make residual income without reinvesting something. But Atomy has made a system where you can continue to make residual income when you develop that system. Now, I think that's amazing. I think that's phenomenal, right? So I got very, very excited when I started to understand the compensation plan. But it doesn't end here. If you look at lots of other companies, the top 1% takes home a lot of the money. But in Atomy, what did we say? Everybody meets at the top. What does that mean, everybody meets at the top? That means that everybody will run into the ceiling, right? The income ceiling. So in this PowerPoint, you can see that everybody has the possibility to make $75 a day all the way to $1,500 a day, give it or take, right? Then what happens? It can take you two years to do this, or it can take you three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years. It can, all, it can take almost ten years. We don't know. But what we do know for sure is that since your group PV accumulates, and since it's a global system, when the time comes, you will all meet at the top. So this is what I tell my partners. I tell my partners, listen, everybody graduates university in four years. But let's say that you failed a lot of your classes, but you continue to go to class, right? You continue to do the work that they assign you. Well, maybe it'll take you five years to graduate or six years to graduate, but it's inevitable that you will graduate. That's the same thing. We don't know how long it will take for any individual to get to the end, but they will be able to get there sooner or later because the price of the product is absolute. And not only that, Atomy is not requiring you to pay money when you don't have any money or they're not requiring you to invest into the company to do the business. So this is very good. Now, for people who are doing the business, their first goal is to get to a mastership. But I'll talk to you about that after I review this a little bit. Okay? So let's remember what PV was and let's remember how it accumulates. All right, so this is you. You have a left leg and you have a right leg. On your left leg, you just accumulated 100K. That means you registered somebody and they just bought 100K worth of products. Another person 100K and another person 300K. Now you have 500K accumulated on your left. But if you want to get paid, what happens? You have to have two legs. And both legs have to be at at least 300K. So this person was using the product, letting people know about the product, and then he said, huh, I think I want to try to do this as a business. I think I want to see if I can make a few dollars here. 
So he registers somebody on his right leg, and this person also also purchases 100k worth of products, and then 200k worth of products. Now where are we? Your left leg is at 500k. Your right leg is at 300k. So now you have 300, 300. So therefore, you will get paid how much? 15 points, which equates to about $75. So now he registers another person. Maybe the 300k guy registered the USA person. It doesn't matter. Anatomy doesn't ask who registered who. But who is in the system and where are the points coming from? That's all they want to know. So 50, 50, 200, that equals how much? 300k. On the left and on the right, 2 and then 100. So now you're at another 300 and 300. So you get paid the about $75 again. But now person A wants to start the business himself as well. He says, well, I've tried the product. I'm at 300K. I think I want to let other people know about these products. So they register somebody from Japan and then they register another person and now their left leg is at how many points? 300K and their right leg is at how many PV? At 300,000 PV. So now A also gets paid 15 points and I register another person and this person registers another person and another person now I just accumulated 300 on my left but now I have another 300 on my right but B also had 300 on his right so now we are both getting paid but I got 15 points and this person only got 5 points why? because they were not at 300k yet so that's what I want you guys to see, and this is the review that I wanted you guys to um, look at, right? So it's a little bit easier understanding it like this now, right? So now let's talk about the mastership. In Atomy, there are seven masterships, but the first mastership gets half of the PV, okay, the total PV. So what does that mean? That means that the first mastership gets half, so that means that they get a lot of the money, but in a lot of network marketing companies, this is considered leadership bonus, right? So since you're in the very beginning stages of the business, they usually don't pay you a large chunk of the pie, but here they give you half. And then the other six masterships have to share the rest. So let's talk about how do you become a, how do you become a auto sales master? Well, in Atomy, in order to become an auto sales master, from the first to the 15th or from the 16th to the end of the month your left leg and right leg has to accumulate a total of 2.5 million PV on your left and on your right leg. Once you have accomplished that you are now considered a auto sales master if that continues automatically, right? So let's look at the graph and how uh, people achieve this. This little dot here, every dot is a month, let's just say. So after nine months, this person becomes a auto sales master. So now they're making about $2,000 a month. But it takes a long time to get to this point. So let's think about it. If it takes you nine months to make $2,000 a month, a lot of people will think, well, that's, that's not a lot of money. I don't want to invest that kind of time and energy into something that's not going to be paying me that much. Well, it's very, very different because this is considered what? Residual income. But that's not the only thing. Once you become an auto sales master, it starts to double. So what does it say here? It starts to compound. Your growth starts to compound. It's no longer going linear like that, but it starts to skyrocket. But at the same time, there is a ceiling. So everybody, your, your PV keeps going up, but what happens to your pay? It starts to stop at around $50,000 a month, okay? Give it or take. But everybody can get to that point. Now, let's review again about the masterships. I stated that from the 1st to the 15th and from the 16th to the end of the month, you have, you have to accumulate a total of two 0.5 million PV on your left leg and on your right leg and once you do that you become what? A sales master. But the other six masterships do not have to do anything with PV but rather who are you helping in your group? Okay. 
if this is a company where they want you to work together, then this is, this is why they created it like this. If you have other members in your left leg, in your right leg, who then become sales masters, then you become a diamond master. So it's not with PV anymore. It's with other masterships, okay? So in order to become a Sharon Rose master, you have to have two diamond masters on your left leg and on your right leg. And this continues all the way until we get to the imperial master. Now let's think about this. You are now a imperial master. So that means that you have two crown masters on your left leg and you have two crown masters on your right leg. But how much are you making? You're making about $50,000 a month. But what kind of money is this? This is residual income, okay? Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys understand what that means. That means that if you're sick one day and you get laid off, but you've become a imperial master, you still have money coming in, right? And let's think about it like this. Let's say that you can't work anymore or you want to go on vacation, you want to tour the world. You are not responsible to make money anymore. Money has already been made with the Atomy system and it just continues to go into your account and all you have to do is what? Buy one product a year to maintain your position in the business. That's it. And the price of the product doesn't even matter. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my process, how I got to where I am today and I want to encourage you guys that you can do the same thing, okay? So let's look at this. In 2013, I got my first general commission, okay? And you can see that it took me how long? It took me about a month to get $70.76. Now, a lot of people start saying, it took you a whole month? Yes, it took me a month. And I'm not talking about I just did Atomy two hours here and there. No, no, no. That wasn't the case. I was doing Atomy 10 hours a day. I was telling everybody about it. But how much was I making? I was only making $70 a month. But once I got that commission, I knew right away that this would continue to grow. This would snowball. Why would this snowball? Just like any good product or movie word of mouth. If you watch a movie that's really exciting, what do you do? You recommend it to friends. That's what was happening here. I sold it. I let lots of people know about the company and I sold them this product, but they started buying it again. So what does that mean? In March, it took me 15 days now to get paid the $70. 15 days and 15 days. So in April, again, I got paid twice. In May, I got paid once. And in June, I didn't get paid at all. Now, why did this happen? I started to run out of people to tell because all I was doing was selling the skin products. I didn't sell any other products because I didn't know any better. But I started telling all these people. But even, if that, even when that was the case, let's look at September. What happens in September? In September, I started getting paid twice a week. Twice a week. So I was getting paid $140 in one week when it was taking me 30 days to get paid once. So let's say that you're working out, right? Your, your goal is to go to the gym every day. So what happens? You go to the gym every day and you're very passionate for how long? I don't know. Some people are passionate for one day. Some people for one month. But usually that passion is more intense during the beginning stages, right? And it starts going down a little bit. But look at how I started getting paid. I was very passionate about Atomy. I knew that this was something that I had to do, that I needed to do, but I wasn't making that much money. It took me 30 days. But as time went by, I started making more. So it wasn't about the intensity. It wasn't about the lack of passion or anything like that. But this is a legit system where you are you are getting consumers and as those consumers come what happens is you start getting residual income let's look at this this graph is here okay so let's say that you're selling 10 items every single month okay you're selling 10 items a month that means that you are making x amount of money for the product being sold well if this is the case your pay should be linear like this, right? So let's, let's talk about consumers. You let 10 people know and they bought a product each, okay? 
But in anatomy, it goes like this. Even though you're only telling 10 people each month, the amount of money that you're getting paid starts to go up. Why is this so? Because... Here, only 10 people are buying. But here, now 20 people are buying. But here, now 30 people are buying. And so on and so forth. This is what I call residual income in this kind of business, right? People want to know, how, why do you call it residual income? Because people who buy it once continue to buy it and let other people know about it. Why? Because it was cheaper than what they were previously using and higher in quality. So you have repeat customers going over and over and over. Now, that started happening, and then what happened? I got my first mastership bonus in November. In 2013, on November the 7th, I got $442, right? So why is this significant? This is this graph. Like I showed you in the auto sales master graph, once you start becoming, once you become an auto sales master, that means that it's going to continue to grow. So if you're making $2,000 a month, then that means that there's somebody else who's working with you making $1,000 or $500. So what are they going to do? They're going to continue to let people know about this business. Why are they going to continue to let, to let people know about this business? Because A, as a consumer, they're not losing any money. B, as a business, they're gaining money simply by marketing the products for Atomy. And this is um, the most important thing. So if I was able to do it, I want to encourage you guys and say you're going to be able to do it as well. Why? Because I started it in Korea, right? I started this business in Korea, but guess what? I wasn't born there. I moved there about five years ago and when I moved there I didn't know many people but what did I do I just started letting people around me know about Atomy about the product I just gave people information and at that time I had another individual who was really into the products and she told me hey I'll introduce you to more people and that's how it started growing one person and another person and then what happens we have unlimited leverage on the downline so it continues to grow and grow and grow and my PV continue to expand so I want to tell you guys this isn't the only thing Atomy has one more thing that offers you um, offers you the ability to succeed now what does that mean everybody has to learn a system right you can't you're not just born one day understanding how to do this but Atomy provides you with one day seminars six six academies um, online videos to train you to help you and the videos online are all free you don't have to pay anything to start understanding the business so you can do this part-time you can do this on your own time and this is something that is very encouraging for a lot of people who will not be able to do this as a full-time job but want to do this as a part-time job well you can go online and get free educational materials unlike a lot of companies where they where you have to buy CDs and you have to buy books and things of that nature Atomy doesn't do any of that they want you you to succeed and they're trying their best to help you to get to that point now I want to tell you guys a little bit about how I started this okay so now you guys know what Atomy is right Atomy is about absolute price and absolute quality and that's the start of a business okay it's not about comp it's not about setting the price to your competitors but making it cheaper so nobody around you will be able to compete with you that's what we mean by absolute price and absolute quality so if you have a product like this then it's inevitable that you'll be able to make consumers around you but you're not just selling one product but you're selling 20 30 40 80 different kinds of Atomy products around you so don't you think that somebody around you is going to be able to use at least one I think so so that's what was coming through my head. Whenever I saw this opportunity come, I watched um, CEO Park's VOD. 
Okay? I turned that on and I said, I started watching the VOD and then tears started coming down my face. I started crying. But why did I start crying? I started crying because I remembered my past. I remembered my parents working three to four jobs every single day, coming home at two in the morning. I would wake up in the morning and they'd be gone already. I would have my clothes on the bed and I would have breakfast made on the table but nobody would be home. So I would get dressed, I would eat and then I would go to school, come back home, do my homework and try to stay awake to see my parents' faces because they wouldn't get home until 2 or 3 in the morning. And then I remember them working hard and then what? Starting their own business. And then I saw them do really well. I started seeing them grow. But at the same time, what happened? they had to file bankruptcy because it didn't go that, the way that they wanted to do. But when I was watching this VOD, I started realizing, if this is real, if this is something that really can make my dreams come true, create residual income for me and my family, then I have to do this. All those memories started going through my head. So I started tearing up. I started crying. And I ran to my wife and I said, Nadi, look, we have to do this business. If, if CEO Park is saying what he's saying and this is something that's real, if these products are at these prices and if there's no registration fee, if somebody like me can start this, why can't anybody else? I think everybody should know about this. So we started. But guess what? Whenever you have to make a decision like that, to make a, it's a turning point in your life, right? Whenever you want to change or do something, what happens? Something significant happens in your life. Just like that, something significant happened in ours. It wasn't a negative thing. It was a positive thing. What happened? We became pregnant. So what happens once you become pregnant, right? My wife was the one who knew a lot of people. So she was the one that I needed. Who She, she had to help me to do this business. But at the same time, she had very bad morning sickness. So she'd be throwing up in the morning and she'd be vomiting here and I would tell her, Nadi, Nadi, are you okay? And she'd say, no, I'm not okay, you know? But then she'd be sitting on the toilet and I'd be, I'd be banging on her back and say, hey, Nadi, did you make the appointment for later? Are we meeting so-and-so later? And she'd say, she'd look at me and say, are you kidding me right now? Look at me. Do you love me or do you love Adamy? What do you love? And she said, she said these things to me, but I had to make a decision. I said, Nadi, I love you. That's why I'm doing Adamy. Think about it. If we can succeed in this business and if we can make residual income within three to five years, then isn't this something that we need to do? This is something we really need to try our best to accomplish. And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she would understand me, right? But that was what I had to go over. I couldn't think about, oh no, I, I can't meet her or I can't meet him or since Nadi can't help me. I had to do my best to what? To try to succeed, to break through in this system. And I want to tell you guys, that's what you have to do. Maybe you're here today and you go home and then your wife or your husband says, no, don't do network marketing. That's a scheme. Don't do that. Or maybe your friends are like, hey, why are you trying to sell me a product? Maybe they're giving you all these negative vibes or all these negative comments, but don't listen to them. This is something that you need to do. Why do you need to do it? Because you have to secure your future. And in order to do that, you have to what? Work. You have to work, right? But if you can work and be a part of the Atomy, doing it at least part-time, and maybe five years later down the road, you're making $2,000 of residual income every single month, isn't that something that we need to strive to accomplish? I think so. That's what it was for me. So I told my wife, here, maybe I, I may forget about our anniversary, you know, I may forget your birthday because we're so concentrated on doing this, but don't hate me, okay? Don't hate me because within three to five years, we're going to be able to go wherever we want. We're going to be able to go to whatever restaurant we want and we don't have to look at how much it costs. Or let's say you have to put gas in your car. You can drive to any gas station. You don't have to worry about how much is this gas costing, how much is it per liter or per gallon, but rather it's just Let's fill it up and go because you don't have to worry about how much you're making anymore because you're making more than you can possibly spend. That's what it was for me. That was two and a half years ago. But now here I am today talking to you guys and I'm just the average Joe. All I wanted to do was make a difference. I wanted to try to change the way that I live compared to how my parents lived. I didn't want my kids waking up two in the morning looking for me because I wasn't there because I was trying to put food on the table. I wanted to try to create something where I would be able to have a better 
um, a better environment for my son, for my daughter. And I wanted to be able to do these things. But the only way I knew how to do this was through business. But I was never able to do it because I couldn't find the right products to sell to individuals that would change their consuming habit. But I want to tell you guys, go home today. Try the products. Okay? Do some market research. See if what I'm telling you is real. And if it's real, do all that you can to try to accomplish your dreams in Atomy. Because Atomy has everything all set up for you. All you have to do is pick it up and decide on doing it. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys today. Okay? I wanted to encourage you guys to let you know that, yeah, it's not easy. But yes, it's 100% doable. For who? For anybody. For people like me who didn't have individuals to contact or people like me who couldn't speak the language 100% over there but I was able to grow and I was able to do everything that everybody else can do nothing spectacular nothing special so you can do it as well just go home look up at me look at more VODs that are online research the products try the products and see if this is the right thing for you all right, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that this was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.